In this video we're going to take a look at how easy it is to use a grade tool in Brightspace. To get started, click on the grades icon in the top navigation bar. If you haven't used the grades tool yet, you'll have to go through the setup wizard first. To begin, click on the start button at the bottom. Your first decision is whether or not you're going to use a weighted grade system or a points grade system. I believe a weighted grade system has a little bit more power and you don't have to worry that much about what you're marking your assignments out of. For this video, I'm going to select weighted. Then click continue. Next, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to release the calculated final grade or the adjusted grade to my students. The calculated grade is what actually gets calculated in Brightspace. The adjusted grade is something that you can edit and change yourself. I'm going to select the calculated final grade, but I can change this at any time. Next, I have to determine whether or not I'm going to drop ungraded items or treat them as zero. As your students work their way through your course, I suggest that you leave this as drop ungraded items. If you treat all ungraded items as zero, any assignments that you haven't assigned yet will be marked as zero, and this will affect what the students are seeing when they look at their grades in the grade tool. Next, make sure you check automatically keep final grades updated. Then click continue. Finally, you have to choose your default grade system. You can leave percentage as the default marking scheme for now. Click continue. Next, you can decide how many decimal places you want to show in your calculated grades. I'm going to change this to one and then click continue. Now you can decide how students view their grades. For now, let's leave this alone. I'm going to change the number of decimal places in their marks to one. And then depending on how long your assignment descriptions are, you might want to increase or decrease this number here. Finally, if you want your students to see their final grades as they move through the course, check off Display Final Grade Calculations to Users, then click Continue. This is just a summary of your choices. We can always go back and edit this anytime we like. Click Finish to continue. Before we start creating grade categories and grade items, I want to show you how easy it is to go back into the settings and change any one of the settings that we just set. If we click on the Settings button next to the cogwheel, you can go through and adjust any one of the settings that we just set at any time. 